All right then, so we have our form now to successfully add new ninjas to this array and this list. Now what I'd like to show you is how we can delete ninjas from this list. And to do that, what we're gonna have to do is delete data from this array right here. So ideally, when we're outputting this template over here for each ninja, I'd like to also output a button for each ninja which says delete ninja. When we click on that, it's gonna fire a function inside this app component and that function is going to remove that ninja from the state over here. So then, first of all, let's create that function. So below add ninja, I'm going to create a new one, and that is called delete ninja, equal to an arrow function. And this arrow function right here, this is going to have to take a parameter, and that parameter is the ID of the ninja that we want to delete, because we're going to use that to try and find which ninja up here we want to remove. They've all got an ID property. Okay, so we'll fill this function out later, but for now, what I'm gonna do is pass this function down as a prop into the ninjas component right here, because remember, we want to access that function and fire that function from the ninjas component. That's where we're outputting the ninjas, and we're gonna have a button output as well. So we'll pass it down as a prop into here. We'll call that prop delete ninja and set it equal to this dot delete ninja okay so we're passing that as a prop now into this function over here this component and remember this is a functional component and we can access our props up here we can either pass in props directly or we're using destructuring at the minute to grab our props so i'll just carry on with that pattern and grab delete ninja to get that off the props as well so now we can call this function and invoke it from this component. So then where do we want to call this function from? Well, each time we output a ninja, what we want to do is also output a button. So we'll make that button and inside we'll say delete ninja. Then we want a click event on this button. So we'll set that equal to something. And this is where we want to fire this delete ninja function. So we can just say delete ninja. Now remember, we need to pass through as a parameter the ID like so. So what we could do is get the ID off the ninja. Remember, in here, we have access to the ninja each time around we cycle through this template. So like we have done here by saying ninja.id for the key, we could pass it through here by saying ninja.id as well. And we're passing through now the ID of that individual ninja to that function. So for each ninja here that's output, this ID is gonna be different that we pass to the function over here. Now that's all well and good, but this is not gonna work. And the reason this is not gonna work is because we're automatically now invoking this function. We only want this function to be called when we click on something, but by adding parentheses on the end of a function, remember, we're automatically invoking it. Normally, we reference the function like this, but now we're invoking it by adding on parentheses. So how do we combat this? We don't want this to automatically fire every time. Well, simple way is just to surround this thing right here, this function call in an anonymous function. So we could place an arrow function around it like so. And then this will work. So don't forget you need two closing curly braces there because we have one, two here. So this now, is an arrow function, an anonymous function, which is surrounding the other function call. So therefore, this is not automatically gonna be invoked. It's only gonna be invoked when the function surrounding it fires. And that's only gonna fire when we get a click event. So that's how we can combat this thing right here. If we need to pass a parameter in directly, we can surround it in an anonymous function. All right then, so this is all gonna work. We'll save that. And over here, what we'll do is just log to the console for now the ID that we receive. So save that and give this a whirl. So now we see these buttons, and if I click on one of these, then you can see the ID is output over here to the console. And if I add a new one, we'll say Mario 35 and Black Belt. If I add that and try to delete this, we're gonna get a random number, 0.67, and that random number is because remember, we assigned these ninjas a random number here as an ID when we added them. All right, cool. So then, now we're firing this function, but inside this function, what we want to do is take this ID, look through this array right here, 
and then change that array so we're removing the ninja with that ID. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, remember, we can't do anything destructive directly. That's why we did this in the last tutorial. And we didn't just say ninjas.push or rather this.state.ninjas.push. We can't do that. But when we're deleting a ninja, we can use a non-destructive method called filter. And what filter is going to do is cycle through the array and it's going to return a new array based on this one. And it's going to filter certain items out of that array based on a certain condition. And that condition for us is to check whether this ID is equal to the ninja ID in here. So let's create a new variable. We'll say let ninjas equal to this dot state dot ninjas to grab the current array on the state. Then we use the method called dot filter. Remember, this is non destructive. It's never going to alter this. It's only going to return a new array over here. So in this filter method, we pass a callback function. And in this callback function, we get access to the individual ninja that we're cycling through at that particular moment in time. So what we want to do is return a value inside this function. And that value is going to either be true or false. Now, if we return true, then this current ninja, this object that we're cycling through, that is going to remain in the new array over here. If we return false over here, it's going to take that ninja that we're cycling through and it's going to filter it out of the new array. Now, we only want to filter one thing out of the array, and that is the ninja with this ID. So what we need to do here is perform some kind of evaluation to check if this ID is equal to the ninja ID. And if that is the case, then we want to return false. Make sense? So we could say ninja.id to get the ID of the current ninja we're cycling through is not equal to ID that we get up here passed to the function. This is the ID of the ninja we want to delete. So by saying this, if the ninja ID is equal to this, then this is going to return false. And therefore, it's going to filter that ninja out of the array. If this ID is not equal to the ID of the current ninja, therefore satisfying this thing and returning true, then that ninja is going to remain in the new array. So now we have a new array based on this one, but we've filtered out the ninja with this ID right here. And again, this is non-destructive. We're not altering this at all. So then now we have that new array, we can say this dot set state and inside we want to change the ninjas property and we're going to pass it the new ninjas array we created right here. All right then. So this should all work now. If we try to delete a ninja, this works, works. And if we add a new ninja, Mario 35 and black and we try to delete that, it also works. So this is all fine now. We're deleting ninjas from this state.